Hello, my name's Sophie and I teach English on italki. There's more to taking the IELTS examination than trawling through textbooks and reading through past papers. Here are some quick tips to help you build up your fluency, vocabulary, grammar and reading. Tip number one, daily reading. It's important that you do it at least 15 to 20 minutes a day of daily reading. Looking at resources which have been used in previous IELTS examinations, such as The Economist or BBC News, is a great way to familiarise yourself with the kind of style that might come up in the exam. Tip number two, tidy up your paragraphs. A paragraph should always try to develop a specific point or argument, but it's very easy to get distracted by trying to cram in too much into one. To avoid this, incorporate the P-E-E -E structure into your paragraph, which stands for point, evidence, explanation. By doing this, you will ensure that you have a well-rounded paragraph and your point is well explained. Tip number three, learn some idioms. Kill two birds with one stone and throw some idioms into the conversation. Your examiners will likely be tired and bored after listening to thousands of students saying the same thing over and over again. So why don't you spice up the conversation and throw some idioms into the conversation? Examiners look out for idioms as a sign of fluency, but be careful not to overdo it. Tip number four, practice, practice, practice. This is a very important point. In the lead up to your exam, make sure that you get as much exposure to English as you possibly can. You could do this by finding a friend to practice the language with, or set your phone language to English. Watch some English TV, movies, or listen to some English songs. Just whatever you do, make sure that it's in English. This will give you the confidence, which will help you to relax during the speaking exam. A relaxed student makes for a relaxed examiner. I hope that you enjoyed these tips and I wish you all the best with your upcoming IELTS exam. If you'd like to see more content like this, hit subscribe and follow iTalkie's YouTube channel to get more on teacher tips. See you next time.